good, you guys. Come on in here and get this message. I hope y'all are doing really, really well. Y'all, let's go ahead and jump into it without delay. A heart that's lighter than a feather is the title of this read. A heart that is lighter than a feather. So mercy or grace, let's talk about mercy and grace. Mercy and or grace, okay? It's something that's earned, you guys. It's not just given, okay? It is earned, all right? Um, the way that this was interpreted on my end through the message that I received from the divine, um, the good that you do, it gets stored up as does the bad, like the good and the bad that you do, both of them get stored up. So imagine like a jar, a large um, gumball jar, right? Something that you would save or collect gumballs in, okay? Um, imagine there's two jars and in one, one jar, it's labeled good, another jar, it's labeled bad, okay? Now, the more good you do, you can afford Okay, it's like a piggy bank energy. Like the more money you put in there, the more you can afford to buy, right? When you go to the candy store, okay? This could be a lesson that you're teaching your kids or uh, um, something like that. But this is the interpretation that I was given. So basically, the more good that you do, you can then afford grace. Or should you find yourself in your imperfections, you can afford grace. So the grace that you earn is based upon the good that you store up, okay? So the good you put out into the universe, you know how they say it comes back to you, right? Comes back to you tenfold, comes back to you times three, okay? Or times a hundred, however they be saying it, right? <laughs> well, it's only coming back to you multiply because you've put you've invested right 217 on the clock you've invested you've poured into it you've put into it you paid into it now this plays out or is significant during the time that our hearts are weighed in the spiritual realm okay now during the heart weigh in that occurs it usually occurs just before the full moon, okay? That's when I've noticed it very prominently. It's just before a full moon, your heart is weighed. Now, none of us have mastered perfection, right? None of us are perfect, you guys, though we strive to be, okay? Sometimes we can find ourselves um, in our imperfection, okay? Um, I pray that each of you continue to have the strength to continue to do your best, as best as you can. I know that it's not easy in this day and age that we live in. It's not easy um, to be to be perfect. We we weren't created to be perfect. We were created to strive for perfection, right? So how they say none is perfect, but the master himself. Okay. So it's like just commit to the divine at this time. If not, if you can't do anything else, if you're not sure where to start, just commit to the divine, and then he will commit to you becoming the best version of yourself that is humanly possible. I'm going to say that again. Just commit to the divine. And what he will do in return is he will commit to you becoming the best version of yourself that is humanly possible. It's like if you commit to him, then he'll commit to you. He's going to turn you up a notch. He's going to elevate you. He's going to evolve you. Now, a version of yourself that you can be proud of is what he will turn you into. It's given a vibe of like, y'all know how they be saying, how church folks say like, come as you are, right? So it's given that vibe. The divine is like, just come to me in your, in, in, in your pieces. Just, but come, right? Like just commit. See, in turn, when you commit to the divine, to the divine you're actually committing to yourself because you're standing in agreement with him and who he has proclaimed or claimed you to be or declared that you are truly, authentically, right? So anyway, just do the best good that you can so that the scales continue to tip in your favor. He's not asking for you to be perfect. He's asking for you to be as, as good as you can, right? 
this is what happens when the good outweighs the bad and you earn grace and mercy. So if you continue to just do the goodest that you can, and I know that is poor English, right? <laughs> do the goodest you can. <laughs> if you just continue to do the best that you can, then when it comes time for your heart weigh in, the scales tip in your favor because your good will outweigh your bad. And you will continue to earn grace and mercy because you paid into it. Goodness. I hope you guys enjoyed this read, my loves. If you understood, um, you know, it was for you. If not, catch us in another one and maybe that one will resonate with you. Um, either way, I hope that this message found y'all doing great and I will see you guys in the next one. Have an awesome day. Wow, 5.55 on the clock. See y'all later.